Southeast Asia is undergoing a process of rapid change, with the ASEAN community that established in 2015, bringing the region's 630 million people together in one of the world's largest trading blocks. ASEAN countries are investing heavily in new road, rail, and port infrastructure. The association firmly becomes a regional force bringing opportunity and challenge. Former landlocked Laos, now the Land Link country, shares border with Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, Myanmar, and China. The Lao is a landlocked country, and the policy is to, to get Lao as a land link country um, due to the uh, 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 geographical location. So uh, the uh, improvement of the border trade or the uh, board, border uh, control facilities is very important uh, because actually uh, if you look at the statistics, the logistic uh, index of Laos, transport and logistics, is very high. With 26 international border checkpoints and entry visas provided at 22 of them, plus movements of people and goods have tremendously increased, requiring enhanced immigration and border management structures to more efficiently and effectively manage the cross-border flow of people and goods. Entry to Laos is also convenient via the land borders with neighboring countries, such as the five international Mekong Friendship Bridges, the railway in Vientiane and other international checkpoints along the borders with Cambodia, China, Myanmar, Thailand, and Vietnam. ครัวคือว่ามิตรภาพสามคำมวลนครพนมเป็นโครงการที่รัฐบาลให้สปปลาวและรัฐบาลไทยเป็นดีคือว่าร่วมกันร่วมมือกอยสร้างคือว่าเ
with the region and globe. The high and low border checkpoint is now more advanced. We have a common checkpoint. That means the products going across the border will be checked at the exporting border, at the importing side, so we don't have to do the double check. And this could be the example for other boarding checkpoints. I talked to Malaysian minister. He is very interested and he would like to visit the checkpoint at Sawanakit uh, so that uh, he can see how we work. And uh, that could be a very good example. And uh, this common checkpoint uh, helped very much in facilitating trade between Thai and Lao. Shortly after the AEC officially came into effect at the end of last year, many ASEAN members began to seek opportunities in trade and investment. The governments of ASEAN nations have been working hard for decades to eliminate unnecessary measures and barriers in a bid to drive business integration in the region. This is the first year of the ASEAN Economic Community. Uh, we, are, we have opened up our economies. Uh, so we're not talking only about Laos as a country or Malaysia as a country. We're also talking about the potential of ASEAN uh, as an economic region. Beyond that, uh, uh, Laos uh, PDR is close to China. Uh, proximity to China is an advantage. And Malaysian companies can use uh, Laos PDR, PDR uh, as a stepping stone to do more business with China. China is already our number one trading partner. Uh, and uh, we want to increase uh, trade investment ties with China and Lao PDR can be uh, uh, the country that will open more doors to, uh, to business opportunities with China. Vietnam uh, is um, also a very important country, more than 100 million people, Thailand 60 million people. So Lao PDR is in this part of ASEAN, uh, surrounded by some major economies, China, the biggest country in the world, Vietnam growing rapidly, Thailand also experiencing good growth. So these are some of the opportunities in, in ASEAN that we should promote more aggressively. Yeah? So it's not just Lao, PDR, Malaysia, bilateral relations. It is also about working together closely in order to, uh, to, to promote closer ASEAN economy. The ASEAN Single Window or ASW initiative establishes a single submission point for harmonized data and information processing together with a single decision-making point for customers' clearance. The objective is to accelerate clearance procedures for goods and achieve greater economic efficiency. When fully operational, the ASW envisages, for example, that an importer bringing a container into ASEAN destined for China via Laos would need to submit data one single centralized data hub for automated sharing with all relevant agencies. The management of the border uh, especially need to be improved and ASEAN has already uh, elaborated this, the single window inspection system and which is not really uh, operating but uh, the legal aspect of it has just been ratified by all the countries and uh, we are out there is also a number of regulations based on the GMS uh, Chemical Submission, which are the CBTA or Cross Border Transport Agreement, we need to be implemented. Uh, and so, if the CBTA can be implemented and the single window opening, and uh, ASEAN BAC also is preparing a, a legacy project called La Laos Connect, which consists of developing the Triport in Laos. You know, the whole there are about uh, nine triport in Laos, or you can call it logistic uh, hub, which need to be developed in, in the Lao P PDR along the East West Corridor and the North South Corridor of the Mekong Submission. So, if we can do, develop those uh, uh, logistic zone, uh, the logistic hub as a triport, so it is linked to port, uh, then and apply the single window apply a special truck lane system, green lane system for uh, good customers or, or good corporate uh, uh, benefiters, then we can make uh, the investment, fac facilitate investment into Laos.
It is expected that Laos will increasingly become not just a destination or source country, but equally importantly, a transit country, particularly between Thailand and China. The region is undergoing a process of integration that includes far-reaching change in the management of its borders. 98-99% of our trading is going through the border. That's why if you have a good management at the border uh, checking point, it will be facilitate the trade between two countries. It will be easy, the formalities. It's shorter the time doing that formalities. It's uh, spend uh, expenses for the uh, businesses and make, make them more convenient trading uh, through the waters. So all that will uh, facilitate the trading flow between two our countries. The regional roadmap for connectivity such as the ASEAN Community 2015 and Greater Mekong Subregion Transport Master Plan includes major upgrades in infrastructure and initiatives to promote a freer movement of people and goods. 2015 is the year that we start the ASEAN Economic Community. Next year will be the 50th anniversary for ASEAN, so we have come a long way. Uh, I think uh, now the tariff uh, has gone down to zero or the most is five percent among ASEAN. But uh, still, we have to work on the non-tariff side. In the AEC Blueprint 2025, the region is already set to become highly integrated and develop an interconnected economy over the next 10 years. AEC acknowledges the free movement of skilled labor, goods, services and investment within member countries. Obviously, many ASEAN employees are now working at hotels, restaurants and other service sectors in Laos and the trade between Laos and ASEAN is on the rise.